I really want to have a nice and green lawn this year. So last year I put an irrigation system under the ground and now I can use that to water my uh, lawn. The backyard is really, really tiny, so watering is possible without spending too much money on, on water. But the lawn is pretty damaged right now just from me digging it up and uh, laying those pipes and putting those, those uh, sprinklers in the ground. So about a week ago, I put down some grass seed and it's really starting to grow now. And when new grass starts to grow, it really needs a lot of water. You basically have to keep the, the soil moist at any time. And through trial and error, I figured out that if I water for about five minutes at around noon and uh, about five minutes at around 4 p.m., that's usually perfect to keep the ground moist all day. So the only logical solution, of course, is to use a Kubernetes cron job to do that. So it's just about to turn four o'clock and it's time for some watering. And then five minutes later, of course, we want to stop. And then after yet another five minutes, I want to water the other zone. So how do I do that? I have the, this jobs YAML here. And what I'm doing is using a uh, batch v1 beta as the API version and a cron job here. And I have one, for example, uh, back is the zone here. So I'm turning the back zone on at uh, 12 o'clock. And I'm in Germany here. And for the German uh, summertime, you always have to add two hours to the UTC. So that's why I have 10 here and a common for me to remember when I take a look at this the next time. And then really I wanted to, to build this without having to push my own container. I thought there has to be something that I can use. And there is, I'm using this uh, Alpine curl container that really uh, just runs curls and I can put a couple of arguments here. And here that's sort of where the magic is coming in. I have a little particle photon. These are these small development IOT ready devices that cost you I think around 20 ish euros or dollars. And on there is a 24 volt uh, relay that powers uh, or turns on the magnetic valve. So basically on that device, I have um, some kind of a cloud function really that you can activate by calling this API URL. And in there I have some OAuth here. So that line should, should look really familiar to you if you've seen my OAuth videos. And then I'm just calling this function uh, here in this case, sewn back with the argument of on. And then five minutes later, I have a job to turn it off again. And of course, my uh, device ID and this secret, I don't want to have them in plain text here, so they're coming from a Kubernetes secret. And that's a handy little trick that I didn't actually know. If uh, you want to reference an environment variable that you set in the env section, and uh, if you want to reference that in your arg section, you have to write it with this syntax, which in, in bash would be uh, the syntax you use to, to run a command. So you would expect something like this maybe. Um, but that's not the case in Kubernetes. You just put the name of the environment variable here and then it executes. I didn't know that, but I looked that up, found it in the docs and it works. So that's really all there is to it. I have um, a couple of these chops. So if I just uh, search here for the word turn, they all have turn in them. Then you can see here I have turn, oh. I have turn back on at 12, turn back off at 12, turn side on at 12, turn side off at 12, and there's a, a little delay by, by about five minutes because my water pipe can't handle uh, both zones on at the same time. And then I'm doing the same thing at four o'clock. And uh, obviously this isn't the perfect system. I'm watering every day, whether there is rain or not. And also if for whatever reason, the turn off job wouldn't run, um, my sprinklers would just keep on running forever. But it's really just the first proof of concept and I really like it. And it might just be the first ever lawn powered by Kubernetes. So coming back more to the sort of educational part of this video, as you can see here, this uh, document because of all the jobs is now 264 lines long. And that's obviously pretty bad. There's a lot of repetition in there. So that basically just screams, just begs for me to write a help chart for that to very much simplify that. And also to put the, the interesting information because the interesting information per job is the time 
and uh, the argument here, what I'm doing, turning it on or off. So um, that we should be uh, concentrated in a nicer place. And that's really what we can do with a Helm chart, but I'll, I'll leave that for a future video. If you're interested in Kubernetes or uh, cloud native applications in general, or really anything there is in the DevOps world, make sure you subscribe and I'll promise you there'll be plenty of cool and interesting and educational videos coming up in the future. See you then.